The head is turned 45 degree angle to the right to test with Dick's Hall Pike positioning to the right side. One looks for nystagmus at this point and may proceed into treatment or may have them sit back up. With the supine roll test, the patient is taken straight back on a flat surface. The head is turned quickly to one side. One looks for nystagmus, gauges the intensity. The head is then turned straight back up. And then the same thing is done to the opposite side. The examiner can then compare the intensity of nystagmus to determine the affected side. The limpert maneuver for right horizontal canal benign positional vertigo is performed by having the head turned in a sequence of maneuvers 90 degrees to the unaffected side. In this case, the right side is affected so the head is turned toward the left. That position is held for 10 to 30 seconds depending on the duration of nystagmus. The head is then turned to the face down position, held again in that position for 15 to 20 seconds. Another turn, now back toward the right side. And then from here, the patient turns to the straight supine face up position and then sits up simultaneously. For cannula 3 position to the right side, the head is turned 45 degrees to the right side. The patient lies back. The examiner can observe for the nystagmus. That position is then held for 15 or 20 seconds. Then the head is turned 90 degrees toward the unaffected side. And then the patient is manipulated so that the head is facing the floor. And that position is again held for about 20 seconds or so, after which time the patient can sit up. For the Samant maneuver for right benign positional vertigo, the head is turned 45 degree angle toward the unaffected side. The patient lies quickly to one side, at which point nystagmus may be evident. That position is held for 30 seconds. The patient may be quickly taken to the opposite side without moving the head relative to the shoulders. Then they may sit up. For the Guffoni maneuver for geotropic horizontal canal benign positional vertigo, the patient lies to the unaffected side. That position is held for two minutes. Then the patient's head is turned 45 degrees toward the ground, held for another minute. And then the patient may sit up. The Guffoni maneuver for ageotropic horizontal canal benign positional vertigo is done by laying them to the affected side, in this case the right. That position is held for two minutes, then their head is turned 45 degree angle toward the ground, and then they may sit up. Here, the patient's head is turned 45 degrees to one side. The patient lies down quickly pauses for 10 seconds or so, sits up, pauses, and does the same thing to the other side. 